pair all on his heels. But there we go. We're going to come down with Dish smiling at us with that panda parachute. I didn't know there was a panda parachute, and I'm buying a panda parachute. And I like saying panda parachute. A panda parachute, and it looks like somebody else is going to land right there. He's going to decide to get out of there. Close range engagement here between Insanity. I'm not sure. MP7 for Insanity. AR for Outboxy. Outboxy is going to get outboxed with the MP7 as he goes down here early. Insanity able to win that one. There was another player that went down. I didn't catch it in the kill feed because I was trying to figure out what was happening on the screen in front of us. But we lose two players right off the start here down to 75. Well, the problem is Insanity still has another player right there. As you can see, it's Pimp Daddy. That's a good name, Pimp Daddy. And now look, Kooky Clown's picking up kills early. I'm telling you, the Clown Fiesta is beginning. All right, yeah. Phenom's right here next to Insanity, but he, he is a little bit away. Insanity could go ahead and loot up a little bit more, but it looks like he's going to worry about the other player instead. He's going to hang out for a second, see if anybody's coming. There's still a lot of loot to be had in these tents. There's a lot of med kits. There's a lot of shreddables, typically. Everything you need to start a match off. But as we are talking about that, we're going to go ahead and hop over to this battle that could possibly go down between Costino and uh, I believe that was Miller H1. Yeah, I'm not sure Costino knows that Miller's in there. And he now he now. sure does, and he finds him. Mm. Oh, Jason just bit his hand. Uh, that was... Just the timing with the I don't know if he, he knows he, he he knows now he he found out late loses his helmet and is able to just whip over, uh th those are those moments that just look good. Uh, that, that's just, a highlight there's, reel. There's a good feel bad feel. It I mean good for one bad for the other. But those are those moments where they <laughs> what? what in the world? Yes, this I told is you. it. The battle royale, the original style battle royales as these guys jump in and out of the ring. Kooky oh, cheating, Kuki's jumping out. out. Oh my god, what is he doing here? He's the battle going down. Currently, Hella Julian gonna be behind at 14 health. Kooky right behind him with 17, 34 health left on spawn. Spawns has healed. Hella Julian gonna get taken down by spawn. Spawns oh. also gonna finish off Kooky Clown with the double on the fist. The battle royale champion spawns. H1 takes it down. Game's over. Okay, Headsets. Yeah, bye. We'll see you guys later. See you guys later. All right, back to actual gameplay. <laughs> All right, Insanity still over here in the military base looking for the fight with Pimp Daddy. Going to catch Ooh, him in the armor body. and the helmet. Little bit of move. I'm not going to say helmet body there. He was no, changing it's okay. elevations. I'm it sorry, wasn't intended. Okay. Good helmet body, not a bad helmet yeah, body. Helmet Grenade going to come out, force him around to the other side. Gets a hit from distance with the shock and not enough to finish him off. Able to find him on that second one. Phenom going to get eliminated here at the hands of Insanity. Insanity wins the battle royale fight of the military base. They're, not, quite as epic, like, not quite as epic yeah, as the, the, as the fist the, fight, the fist fight throwdown, yeah. uh, but uh, apparently I was wrong. We were talking about this kooky clown go yeah, nuts I here. Apparently, you. apparently he wanted to put on a show. Unfortunately, I he was on he the was wrong listening. end of the show. I bet you he was listening. I bet you that was for us. I'm not sure if it was or not. They're like five minutes behind. Mm, maybe. 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 I don't know how long ago we talked about that. I'm not good with time Probably or math. Yeah, well, and so It's hard. <laughs> I'm Cosmic, gonna put shots over towards Papa Bear. Nothing but not, Jeep hits, so. Not quite enough lead. He only actually got one or two hits there. He wasn't really staying consistent with his lead. That's another thing that you can kind of uh, watch players pull off. You can see the guys that really have smooth movement on their mouse, mm -hmm. really good tracking. Uh, he was kind of getting ahead, spray the shots, get ahead, spray the shots, so. Not enough hits there to really cause any worry for the other player. Jesse, somebody that I was very impressed with in the last match as he just nailed shot after shot. We have, you know, we have been reading this name on the list, and we have not seen him yet today. But the reason we're taking a look at him is because he's up against Aversion right now, trying to get him taken out. And if Aversion goes out here, that's going to knock him out of the running for the shotgun easy peasy. And, I mean, it could happen right here. Dong is pushed up. He's going to move. Sense actually goes down on the the outside. That it's I'm Cosmic who finds it. Now we will take a look at Swizzle, but Hooligan's going to get picked up by Costeno. Easy kill, easy life. I, they have been easy kills for him so far. I mean, he had that quick turnaround on Miller. Mm -hmm. He's taken down another one here on Hooligan. Uh, so he's got two so far into the match, and we still got 67 players left alive. So, I mean, well, we started with 10, he's, so he's killed 20% of the people that have uh, been eliminated so far. He's doing all right. He's got a potential right now for a 67 kill game, 68 kill game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The he potential's just has to there. kill everybody. If yeah. he just eliminates everyone, he's got 68 elims. You're, you're absolutely correct. Mm hmm I mean that's that's how you do things. You do you got to do math by potentials. Oh, 
those are all realistic, uh, realistic Completely expectations. Completely realistic. Uh, not anymore, though, as replay takes down excellence. It takes that opportunity away. Unfortunately, you know, he's, he's not going to be able to take that down. He won't be able to have a 68 no, but game. right now he can go for the 67. So Castano just needs to really buckle down, maybe uh, toggle on. No. Don't toggle on. Don't do that. Replay, firing shots down, but now we're going to take a look. Looks like Bry and Bunny are hanging out in the same building with Stone this up. Keep an eye on it. This is one solo competitive, 100%. These are always – these. These were some of the funniest moment, uh, moments in Champions Arena was watching two guys sit in the same building and just watch each other and then have the conversation. Those were always great. Oh, E-Girl, I can't see how he can see Dangles there, but he kind of has a good idea he's there. He probably, before we got there, typically the spectators are going to call out that they have a oh. fight going on, and he is going to spot him as he makes the run for it, gets a hit. Sorry, she? Dangles just got, like, his Nikes on and said, I'm out! Ooh, Ooh, catches the helmet. Nice play shot from Egril. Now trying to find Dangles. Dangles going to be able to make it in inside. I'm, I'm not sure. I do not know Egril well enough. Uh, What is happening? Bopo Mof Oof. is going to get a limp. That was just a – I'm so confused. I can't even say the names or read them because I was just confused as to what was happening. Uh, Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Sacred put that shotgun into the face of Bopo Mofor. Clearly, I'm just, yeah. it, it just so it's such an odd movement fight there. I wasn't quite sure what was happening. I got, I, I'm easily confused. Well, Pleasant Valley is fully in the circle, and that means we are going to have one full city. The city will be alive tonight, my friend. Yeah, PV is packed right now. Good chance that we probably, we might be able to see a Bumjik finish. I like Bumjik because you've got the little rolls of hay, hay to hide behind. You've There's the a lot more there the than there was in the original Z1 map. It's, I think it's a much more playable space than it used to be. Oh. Castano, unfortunately, not going to be able to pull down the 60-plus Elim game as he gets eliminated. That's going to be it for him as he goes down in 65th here in match number three. Pie Man going to try and get a little bit of loot here. Key, not in the car. Need to find the key. Helmet off. Ouch. Gets deleted by X40G. Well, X40G able to line up that shot, and Pyman will go down, and we'll take a look at Sacred as he's gotten above Aiden. It almost looks like Aiden's rolling down the hill. Yeah, Aiden. Yeah, Aiden's definitely rolling down the hill in that Jeep. Doesn't look like any shots gonna come out. We're gonna hop on board with Onyx for a moment here. Nice little parking spot. I like it. Looks like he had a reserved space set up on top of the mountain. Yeah, I mean that's it's perfect. That's exactly what you need. He's got cover. He's got employee parking. Is there like a reserved parking sign up there? Like reserved for Onyx? Reserved for Onyx? Maybe it's visitor parking? I don't, I'm not sure, but either way, he's he's got himself a nice little spot there. Well, speaking of nice little spots, Spawn has found Aspie's nice little spot. Aspie's trying to put bullets down. Ida going to be playing one of these watchtowers right up above I'm Cosmic, but we're going to hop on board with a quick shotgun battle between Spawns and Aspie. Spawn's going to be able to hold that one down. He takes him out. Ada going to be alive, easily uh, avoidable Molotov there. you got to get right through the window. Cosmic's right. really got to have a nice throw. Looks like he's lining it up. That one's going to be inside. It's too deep. He's in the right corner. Deep, yeah. Well, just that too one went away really in. fast. Uh, it's actually burning Is right that now. The, the, other, the other one was fading out. Cosmic, though, wants this fight. He's being aggressive. He's coming up and looking for it. Ida going to step oh! out and punish him for that. Exactly what I expected to happen. Oh! The dis respect Ida guys just why would you come up here why would you do this please don't ever come at me again uh Ida gonna punish Cosmic for that one well I know Sacred I don't think Sacred was in the first game or two I think he is substituting in this game and he's doing really well for himself but right now he's in a battle with TT has that Jeep gonna throw down the grenade that Sacred will decide to roll away not continue this fight. That's smart play. Yeah, no need to take this fight or take this engagement. The better positioning was going to ZR anyways. Mm -hmm. And if you're not feeling comfortable, again, it's about comfortability. It's about playing your game. And if you're not feeling comfortable, it's this isn't the place to try and work right. on those things. This is the place to go, okay, this is not the fight for me. Let me go ahead and back out of this. Now, in a normal match, if you're not feeling comfortable, I highly suggest you go ahead and put yourself in an uncomfortable situation. Great way to uh, get a little bit better. And Bumjik is starting to get pretty occupied there. Vacancy's getting low. Uh, and there's a couple fights actually happening over there. That, that place is very, very center-heavy at the moment. 
Well, we talked about Bumjik's Farms being a possibility for an ending, and it is looking like that is going to be what happens. But in front of us, E-Girl has Fancy, and Fancy's actually going to be pushing around to the side. It looks like he wants to continue this fight. She gets a few bullets down, though, takes the armor off, only down to 95 health. She is healing back up, though, and so is he. So she'll get that Molotov down. Perfect nice throw. Hit. And now we have a fiery man in a vehicle. Suddenly, Joe Stop must have just put a bandaid on or something. Yeah, I think he was just stemming the bleed right there, just trying to slow it down a little bit, going to get away, get the other heal off. May have been looking for the player to chase, to hop out, and try and get a quick little two-tap. Sometimes you can get the other player overconfident when they feel they're ahead in a fight and they come to take the shots. Right. Um, not sure what he was going for there. Aerie going to hop on that vehicle and get out of there as he was ahead in the fight against I'm a Bob. Money OG got himself a nice... Nice little toilet well, there. Well, I mean, the when you gotta go, you gotta go. Janitorial service, somebody needs to come through and clean that up. That thing does not look like it is uh, safe for use. Well, I mean, usually there's a little piece of paper in the bathroom that says the last time someone's come in. Yeah, see, we don't see it. Oh, but his gun showing through. Dangles, oh. is, this is why it's going down. We didn't have the angle before. It is Dangles sitting right on the other side of Bunny there. <laughs> Now, eventually, this fight that. is going to happen, but uh, I don't expect either one of them to move too soon. That was really good spectating. Just the, just the playing little, the story. Like, uh, this is a, why. Here he is. There, there, we there we go. That's why I was showing you this. Good job. Jesse, one of those guys that we talked about a lot in game number two, somebody that's shown up really big. Uh, expecting him to do well here again if he can do anything like he did in the last match. He's had a lot of really well-placed shots. Now, I'm trying to think right now. Not quite the driver that he is, the shooter, but. <laughs> Jess is one of the players we're paying attention to. We haven't seen any of the top five go out. I do not believe any of the top five have gone out. So we're still I... in a bit of a battle for that shotgun. Still in there, I mean, but Dish is alive. So technically right now we're not in a battle. Everybody's just still in it. Until somebody can take Dish out, there is no battle. Very true. Very true. I, I Because realistically we need an eight. 80,000 you said, right? So it was like an 80,000, like 80,000 gap. Yeah, so like he that. needs to go out and... Now? Yeah. Now would be Pretty good. Pretty much. And Ooh, Dangles has moved back. Super loyal. They're literally right next to each other. I wish the oh, two of them would look at each other. Leaving. What a timing on the movement. I don't know if that was intentional, but as the bombs explode, he makes the run, which is going to cover up the sound of his footsteps. I still heard tap, tap, tap. Bunny should have heard He that. He probably should have heard it as well, but I, it... That might have been what he was going for. Either way, he's going to be able to get out of there. Sacred going to get eliminated by the replay. Now, close range fight here. Blunt going to go ahead and just try and eat this gas. And he has a bleed going. I think that's going to probably take him out. 2%. Gets it off. Stops right at 2. Stems the bleed. Oh, but bandages oh, pushes this, no, in. No, he switched the field bandages. He's going to get the finish on the Blunt. Fallen Royale gets it. Well... I mean, the dance is occurring, and Bandages wins that dance. We switch from a player with 2% and bleed on, and then it goes over to the other player who's at 2% stemmed, and I got, <laughs> was looking at that, and I got lost in the fight there, man. Completely <laughs> lost what's going on. Traditions, though, he's going to find himself a grenade kill on the map. I'm a bot going to get taken out by Style, and we're going to lose catfishing to X40G. Bunny OG trying to find his way out of this gas now and into the safe zone. And this gas is doing two damage per tick right now, so it hurts. Dangles is still inside of it, but he is healing. And that heal outweighs. Tracks will get picked up, but now the ankle's Oof. there for Bunny as Dangles will go down. Very, very clean kill by Bunny. Smart play. And now Cootie, Oof. what a shot. Oof. Miss Mr. Simple. No, I'm sorry. It's Mrs. Imple. I'm going with Mrs. Imple from now on. I don't think that's the one. It's, it's, it's the not one he the, gets. That's not the one, Chief. <laughs> uh, fans are going to get taken out by Traditions. Uh, Magnum there, most likely a car explosion at the hands. May have actually just been a straight shot here. Looks like it was pretty close range. Camden going to choke out to that toxic gas. Traditions just kind of hanging out, seeing if he can spot anybody. Doesn't look like anybody's that, right? around for him. I did not hear that. I was actually just moving my headset, <sighs> so it wasn't on my ears. Bunny, Bunny heard a vehicle to his right. I think it may have been Styles, but... We don't have time for that because a helmet is coming off of Slime and the vehicle blows up. And Nex gets the credit for the kill, but now Nex needs to get out of there because Jinso shows up. He flips it on the side. This could be terrible. Papa Bear, Cootie, they both go out. And that vehicle is gone, but Nex somehow survives. 
All right, Genzo coming through, trying to find where this player went. Able to go ahead and find him because he's going to give himself away with some Magnum shots. He's still looking for the fight. Grenade oh, going to come there's in. The grenade. And the birch tree, which birch I have again. Tree. Birch yes, trees. Birch trees. one for um, me. Really don't have enough oomph or girth to them to really protect you from throwables that much. You're typically going to be in a very rough spot come a throwable at you on a birch tree. Yeah, well, I mean, if the tree ain't as big as you, it's probably not going to stop a grenade it's that's only bigger the, than you. Yeah, it's only the size, the same size as the player, so they're really rough to use. It's kind of like a Looney Tune status, right? Trying to hide behind, like, a, a telephone pole or something? Right, right, which I can't do very well. And we're going to see that gas circle closing in. It is going to... Ooh, Zach getting tagged oh. up here. He's going to get eliminated by Jesse. So Jesse's still looking to impress here in match number three as he takes out one of the top slayers and one of the guys that was sitting just outside that top ten. And, well, Superman is still going to go down in the gas, and Reptar is being shot at by replay. That nade forced him up to the other tree. That gas, he can't outheal it at this point. He gains one and loses two, and down he goes. Replay picks up the kill. Able to take out Reptar, so we've had two big guys go out here. Uh, Superman Man of Steel did get a kill post death as well. He wasn't mm -hmm. a fight in the gas. Other player goes down to the gas. Stona gonna find himself an elimination here in the feed, and now Jinso gonna find himself a Magnum kill onto Transpare. And that's one of the players that we were looking at to try to take that number one spot. Not gonna be able to. So we're still looking for Dream Aversion and Jesse to try to take out Dish. Dish, you're right. Has to go out now. Uh, Wo Zhao goes out. Big Z is able to find that kill. Brian has Jinzo relatively close. I think we just saw 52 meters. That's Big Z on the backside as well. He's pretty much got this restaurant to himself right now, and it is nice spot off. for the car. It's, a, it's yeah. a good little spot. Unless somebody plays the top of that hill and shoots the roof of the car and sees it, uh, great spot to kind of protect your vehicle as much as you possibly can. Well. Look at that. There's Dish right there on the top left of your screen. Nope. Ooh. Well, Traditions is doing work as he finds Tony Hawk's Pro it's Skater. going to be his third Elim of this match so far. Style looking to try and find oh, his second, unlucky. but he is going to get caught out by Swizzle. Strike Zone going to find himself a kill on MP7. Uh, MP7 sprayer before V Replay pulls off the double and takes him and FNG Bear, uh, Bry down. Well, Forty's going to be pushing over towards Stona. He knows he's got a little bit of damage down on him, but Forty took a lot himself. But Swizzle is still here and now has the gas, and that gas is at four. four damage right now. It Dish is, so much. is down. That's it. Dish is down. The opportunity is opened up here. We're going to need to see somebody pull off a win that was in that top five to really have a chance at it. I'm not sure it's going to be enough because he's gotten a lot of points this round. It's kind of kept that gap up. They're going to need a really they need a first place to even have us question it. I mean, yeah, I mean we're not going to be able to even, I mean, we could probably do it if we remember numbers, but we don't. I'm not good at math. That I'm screen, not doing we're it. Not Jesse doing going to get taken out there, one of those guys we were looking for, yeah. at the hands of Aiden, who's somebody else that we have talked quite a bit about. And a lot of people really have switched over to these camos yeah. for these matches to give themselves the option of bushwalking, which I think is good. Anytime you can do something that creates yourself options, you should always preserve yourself with as many options and outs as you can possibly have. I mean, right now, Aiden's trying to move up. Traditions has lost his vehicle. That was a a very dangerous play getting close to a vehicle on fire Ooh. with another vehicle. Trend going to get taken out by Big Z. We're down to 17 here in match number three. Tradition's going to go ahead and park himself and make use of these two cars right in the road. Not a lot there, though. Huskers oh. in, going to lose a helmet. And that's, and, and that's good shooting right there, but now it's a little bit scary for Huskers. He has to try to protect himself, so he's going to smoke himself off. <laughs> Sorry. 7 p.m. goes down at 6.38 p.m. That time, he's, he went down a bit early. Yeah, that time was a About little bit About 22 early. minutes early. We'll go ahead and give it to him, though. It's, it's game close. three. Now we can make that joke. It's pretty close. It, he almost had it. Uh, Hog Mask going to get eliminated at the hands of Jinso. Jinso having a much better game three than he had yes. in the previous two matches. Huskers still hiding inside that half-built house. Sees traditions off to the side. Going to fire shots. Trying to remember who is still alive from this list right now. Dream is still alive. Jinso going to go down to Big Z. He's out of it. Traditions getting tagged up, having to just continually use smokes to try and keep himself alive. Field bandages, throwing a Molotov over at Jinso. Unfortunately for you, sir, he's gone already. 
that, that, that was going to nothing. 40G going to get taken out there by Cypher. Cypher now looking at shots over on Traditions. Traditions down to 40 health, trying to get the finishes. Cypher not able to get it, just trying to spray into the smoke and find him. Not hitting home, and this gas circle is going to announce. Husker's still within it. Big Z in it. It's pulling a little bit to the southwest. Players like Traditions are in a really rough spot to rotate, and it doesn't matter anymore because while we're looking at the map, he got eliminated He's anyways. Out. Huskers took him out. So Aversion right now and Dream, those are the two that need to get the first place to try to take away. I'm pretty sure if Dream gets the first place, he's got that shot. There's no question. If the question boils down to Aversion, if he gets first place, how close does he get to taking Dish out? Or realistically, if Dream can get second or third, he's also got a chance. Cypher going to get pinched out there by Replay and Huskers. Getting eliminated. Now looking for some long shots is replay over towards Aversion. A Not low. able to connect yet. Going to be just a touch low there. Kind of shooting at the feet, making him do the dance. I really don't feel like that's a real thing. No, I think it's probably <laughs> where you just get hit in the foot, you fall over on the ground and scream in pain. I think yeah. that's how that functions. Yeah, right. Well, Aversion's going to smoke himself off as he has Camper very close. And Ooh, I don't well, think there are no him. tents or anything around. I don't think so either. He ducked down. Takes a lot of shots from Camper down to half health, and a version goes out. It is all up to Dream at this point. If he's got a dream to win that golden shotgun, this is his moment. This is the only moment he's going to have. He's going to need to show up big here in the top 10. Ida going to get a kill on the Big C. The push play from Trap and quick hop, quick shotty V replay. A Deleted out happy. of the match. He's not Down happy. to eight. Gas is moving, though. Trapping going to have to get that heel rolling, get back on that ATV, and probably get moving. He's not on the side of the safe zone where it's pulling. Oh! Dream is out. That is eighth it. Place. Field bandage is going to take him down in eight. Huskers now looking for some shots out into eight, and he still has a chance to get up out of those the second half of the top 20 and up into the top 10 to get an AR. Aiden Camper Huskers. wobbles. All going to drop. Huskers with the double. Now has five eliminations on the board. Top four, I mean, Huskers is just putting in work this game. He's been making a lot of use out of this, and even with people on multiple sides and keeping himself up, this is definitely it, it's a decent spot, but it could have been a really rough spot a little bit earlier. He was able to maintain long enough that now it's a pretty decent spot with the gas against it, but there's a lot of open space if he has to rotate out of there. He does look like coming towards the center of the zone. He's going to have some hard cover there, yep. but field bandages is going to be able to have sight, so he needs to keep an eye out on that right side. So his focus needs to be right. Trappen has that gap between. Trappen's got a good spot right vehicle. now. Yeah, Trappen's great. All but they them. all have to move down. It's on the road. Trappen can get down to that first little ridge right there. You can These see these guys in the have to rotate first, which is going to give Trappen the advantage. So Trappen's going to be able to bump to that next ridge line. I the actually might say Ida has the best spot. Right now, two people are going to be able to come out into him. I, I guess he's inside the camper, so he has cover from all sides. He has a decent spot, but he's going to have to run out. Trappen's going to see all three of these guys in his field of view when they go to move. But he can't shoot three people at once. So here's the issue is that he Ida, probably oh, won't Ida has shoot. an ATV. That's big. He probably won't shoot. He's going to be running into the fight against Trappen. Hustle's going to put some shots out early on Trappen, possibly soften him up a bit. And some great shots out of Ida going to just delete Trappen. Now he has that smoke for a little bit of cover. We're in our top three, and they're pushing each other in. Huskers moving towards Ida. Ida moving towards field bandages. And now Huskers firing shots over towards field. Huskers in a pretty good spot. I like Huskers' spot more than the others. The other two are still going to have to rotate a little bit here as the gas flows in. Ida right up against the back of field bandages. Getting tagged a couple times here oh. by Huskers. He's going to finish that one. He is sitting at six, looking to get seven. Ida versus Huskers. Round three in a showdown. This is the end. Well, Ida's going to push down, and Huskers is going to push up, and that nade does a lot. That's pretty much right on top of Ida, down to 35 health. Huskers going to push around the side. This should be an easy win, Ooh. and it is. Headshot comes in. Ida goes down. Huskers Pro League. Rep Rogue. Let's Huskers. Go. Huskers. Uh, oh, there it is. Made up. Uh, yeah, have a little celebration there. I'm pretty sure Huskers just uh, definitely got into the top ten. He's got. He's going home with a gold. Air. I